Disclaimer. The following is a parody of Cinema Sin's Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. With this in mind, everything in this video is absolutely seriously serious criticism towards Steven Universe, and should be taken 100% seriously through all forms of seriousness. Seriously. So the Kroonerverse decided to flip this entire episode, and only this episode for some reason. They said in an interview that it was because of the calendar, whatever the hell that means. So it looks like we're watching Nuvets S Revenue Rakus Akaber de Tarek Ib today. Wait, this is supposed to be Crack the Whip, they couldn't even get the right title card for this? This hand is wrong, five sins. But, but Amethyst is a weeb. Why does Connie just have a random purple dog in this scene? There's literally no build-up to this. Also, this same red kangaroo doesn't even talk, so much for the show being magical. Also, also, what the hell is this symbol on the sword? It looks like a capital A in a pink circle in a giant saw in a white circle in a rectangle covering a sword. Maybe it belongs to White Diamond, who knows? A does stand for diamond after all. Are you headed back north? No, Connie. Everybody knows that according to the lore, all gems must fly back south for the winter. Fuck, even Steven knows that, and last I checked, he can't even fly. We can't have her just out there attacking random monsters for whatever reason. Pearl hates the Monster Hunter franchise. This scene does not contain a lap dance. Inflation. Daddy, I don't want to be on Namek anymore. Steven's a Gary Stew. Hey, Amethyst, did you see that? Steven, Amethyst is blind. We learned that in Jailbreak when she was trying to find her long-lost lover, Peridot. Come on, Crooniverse, keep your lore straight. Also, how could the Crooniverse let this awful animation error slip? It's so obvious that my media player, VLC, catches it constantly without my consent. I don't even want to imagine where those fingers are going. Oh fuck, I was too horny to notice that the magenta lizard died. Too bad the Crooniverse put all their budget into flipping the episode. We need money for the funeral. Quick, one like equals one dollar towards a new cyan giraffe. The water behind Lapis here is blue, when I'm pretty sure water is supposed to be purple. I blew it on my first real magical mission. I wish we got to see that instead of getting that episode where Steven invested in the stock market. Sure, he did it with watermelons, but that still wasn't very educational. What you gotta be is loose. I wanna be loose! Steven and his slow descent into becoming a bottom. And the hamster's still dead! Fighting's all about that feeling deep in your guts. So Vor, got it. I don't know why you're hungry. You got a nice ripe skunk over there to eat. Mm -hmm, like a burger. But this is a donut shop. Aw oh man, why did the Crooniverse redesign the cookie cats to look like lizards? I love their old designs. Also, there's a very hidden continuity error here that I wouldn't put it past you to miss. It's very obscure. You see, in this scene, Lars' skin is fucking purple for some reason. Her skin color, just in case you don't happen to remember this very small detail, is colored like skin. So much for the Crooniverse being all about small details. Also, they made Lars transgender in this scene as well, showing the Crooniverse's true colors as woke radical left extremists. Now you're gonna tell me she's gay for Sadie or something. Just Amethyst be an Amethyst. No, that's Ronaldo. Where the hell's the dialogue? The last thing I want to hear in my... S the last thing I want to hear in my Steven Universe is some dumb, stupid, modern com c commentary. The last thing I want to hear in my Steven Universe is some dumb, stupid, modern contemporary rap written by virgins in their mother's basement. POV, you're my lap. Who the hell is that?! Oh hey, they got a new gerbil! Oh hey, they got a new gerbil! Oh hey, they got an- I'm going to eat you. Hot. Garnet isn't promoting safe Ferris wheel usage here. Didn't they learn anything from the hit Season 1A episode, Serious Sapphire? And hell, in a later episode, they do even worse by having Yellow Diamond break a Ferris wheel entirely trying to save Uncle Yellowtail from falling! See, the water's purple here. That earlier scene had no excuse. Wow, that
That's a huge catfish. <laughs> Major Dewey is an asshole to chair son. I remember you too, buddy. <laughs> I have no earthly idea why the Crooniverse, in later releases of this episode, decided to include the detail of this kid pissing himself a little here. Nora would never do that. Crystal gems are back, and we'll give those diamonds another taste of what's coming. Now show me what you got, soldier. This was the best part of Steven vs. Amethyst. Subtract three sins. Rose. No, that's suitcase Sam. I'm gonna whip your butt. Oh. You think you can just keep showing up and Oh, sorry about that. YouTube wouldn't like it if I let Garnet say what Aquamarine does every time she comes here. Fucking is my life! Whoops, can't let that one through either. Orange Sonic the Hedgehog is canon and would like to have a word with you. Oh, for fuck's sake, the pink seal died again. You two need to get a better pet. This one's defective. It can't even talk. Its voice actor's lazy as fuck. You're Gonna have to censor this too. I'm pretty sure Aquamarine can't pound Garnet on television. Rose said, I'm perfect the way I am. And she had low standards. <laughs> you could have been me. She is you though. You're both cartoon characters. And what are you instead? A cartoon character. Jasper used headbutt. It's super effective. <laughs> Suddenly sex. Also, this song sucks. Never gonna give you up by Rick Astley is better. You fused? No, Aquamarine. They gave birth. Big difference there. Oh, never mind. The dragon's fine. Feet. Jaspers, keep going until we get what we want. Oddly enough, that's her last appearance. It's such a shame they couldn't afford to pay the royalties for Aquamarine to come back. Also, why are there triangles in the water? I thought triangles weren't invented until Warp Tour when we were introduced to the best gem, Hessonite. I guess she lives in the ocean now. No, she lives in Tennessee. Get it right. You didn't need me at all. Why does Garnet feel alone here? Isn't she like three lesbians or something? What the fuck? Hello? Actually, they're roommates. Oh my god. Also, can I get a shout out? Leave me alone!